Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some mostly cloudy skies across the area currently. Seeing some humid conditions as well, a few light rain showers in the area and taking a look at the radar imagery this morning. You can see we do have a few light rain showers off the coast and then it will continue to move off to the north and east for this morning. And we'll just continue to see some dry conditions in the afternoon hours. Our thunderstorm chances today are minimal across the region. Once we move in the overnight hours, we'll see a much better chance of some showers and thunderstorms moving through the region. And taking a look at our current sounding from this morning, freezing level at 14,000 feet. Winds are light throughout the calm in general, seeing winds fairly steady of the southwest around 20 knots throughout the calm, seeing a peak wind at 6,000 feet at 24 knots this morning. Our current surface analysis, we have a leech trough uh, just east of the Appalachian Mountains. We have a uh, Bermuda Ridge off our coast. And seeing us in between those two, giving us some cloud cover across the region with a good amount of moisture in the region in general. Uh, we'll continue to see those humid conditions. We'll see this leech trough kind of move through the area for tonight. And that's going to give us a chance to shower with thunderstorms. So taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see we do have a good amount of cloud cover across the region. And we'll continue to see that throughout much of the day today. Once we move into late afternoon hours, we should see a bit more of sunshine across the area. Taking a look at the herd model for today, you can see this is a 10, 11, and then 12. Some showers across the region. Even seeing some uh, moderate showers or possibly an embedded thunderstorm uh, associated with this activity north and west of our region for later this afternoon. But for our area, just going to see in general dry conditions, conditions, excuse me, some breezy southerly flow developing, especially in the afternoon hours, and could see a wind advisory with that today. It's a move past about 8 o'clock or 20 local this evening, going to see a chance of thunderstorms. And then once we move past midnight, we'll see a better chance of thunderstorms across their area. Uh, this her run here is showing most of the activity off the north, but we're going to have a better chance across our area around, especially between midnight and 4 local on Wednesday. And into Wednesday afternoon, going to see that uh, activity move off the coast. We'll just see some hot and humid conditions across the region. Not going to see much in the way of chances of showers or thunderstorms Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. And then for Thursday, uh, we'll see once again a hot day setting up across the region with uh, temperatures rising into the 90s, heat index in values over 100 degrees on Thursday. So taking a look at our European model for the long range here, uh, Tuesday for today, looking like those uh, chances of showers and thunderstorms, especially in the overnight hours. And then into Wednesday, looks like, and Thursday, just fairly hot and humid, and day, hot and humid days, excuse me. Uh, slightly better chance of a thunderstorm on Wednesday, excuse me, Thursday evening than Wednesday. Uh, once we move into our Friday, we'll see um, a trough kind of set up over the area, and that's going to give us a slight chance of a thunderstorm on Friday. And then on Saturday, looks like we'll have a slightly better chance of some evening showers, thunderstorms, and the Sunday, much the same, with uh, lots of moisture across the region. This Bermuda high off the coast, it's going to give us diurnal chances of showers and thunderstorms uh, for days uh, past Thursday this week, as it looks right now. Uh, moving into our Sunday and Monday, we're going to have a tropical wave starting to approach uh, the Bahamas into uh, the southeast coast. It looks like for early next week, uh, possibly developing into a tropical system. A hurricane Center currently has a 60% chance of that developing in a tropical uh, system or a tropical depression or tropical storm during that time period. So we'll continue to monitor that and see how that evolves and what the strength that system is as well as the placement is as it is not well developed at all right now. Uh, but we'll continue to monitor that for early next week. Taking a look at our risk chart for today though, have a slight chance, slight chance excuse me, of a shower this morning. High today of 84, low night of 75. We'll have better chances of rainfall overnight, especially between midnight and four local with a, a good chance of a rain shower as well as a 40% chance of a thunderstorm. We'll see those winds gusting up 25 knots as it appears right now for this afternoon south, sustained at 13 to 18 knots. And then overnight we'll see those winds calm down and uh, be out of the southwest at 5 to 10 knots. So highlighting those thunderstorm chances in our terminal forecast, say a 20% chance from 20 local to midnight, 40% chance from midnight to 4 local on Wednesday, and then a 20% chance from Wednesday 4 local till uh, Wednesday 8 local. And by tomorrow morning, if we don't have any of those showers, thunderstorms still lingering in the region, we'll just see some uh, partly cloudy skies, good amount of serious cloudiness still in the area. Our tides are continuing to run normal. And looking at Wednesday into Thursday, the heat really builds in uh, for the middle of the week. So Wednesday, very slight chance of a lingering shower or thunderstorm during the morning. Otherwise, partly cloudy, hot, humid. Heat index values near 100 degrees on 
Wednesday with a high of 89 degrees. Wednesday night, partly cloudy to mostly clear and humid, low of 76. And for Thursday, partly cloudy, hot and humid with a slight chance of an evening thunderstorm. We'll see heat index values between 100 and 105 degrees, high on Thursday of 92 degrees. So the next seven days, we're going to see those hot and humid conditions build in really for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s. Slight chances of thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday. Better chance on Saturday at 40%. High of 89. Sunday and Monday, we'll see our temperatures in the uh, mid to upper 80s with uh, more cloud cover in general for Monday, uh, keeping those temperatures in the mid 80s. We'll be humid though throughout the next seven days. So, uh, very much feeling like uh, late, Jul late July, excuse me, into August with those uh, dew points remaining in the 70s to mid 70s, as well as seeing that hot and humid conditions really peak, looks like on Thursday. And I continue to see uh, those uh, hot to warm conditions through early next week. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today. I'm back tomorrow morning, 8.15 at 10 a.m.